eclipse these are today. Um, Imperial, beautiful, soft, that's what you look for. There are that many growers out there at the moment with Mandarin and it's very hard to get a good one. So you've just got to basically try all different growers before, uh, before you get one that's really juicy and fresh. Because if you leave a Mandarin in a fruit bowl or something like that for a week, it starts to go a bit, you know, what's the word, flamented. And then, um, yeah, always fresh. So if you want to keep them, fruit bowl is not the spot. You've got to eat them. A, a beautiful box today, actually. Absolute premium. We've got beautiful crimson grapes that are going in there. Um, the best part about them is they're crunchy and sweet. It's really hard to get a, a good grape at the moment because they're coming to the end. So um, if you buy ours, you'll be sweet. <laughs> the passion fruit, just Panama. I, I'm a big Panama person. Funny with passion fruit because there's only a few people that grow. It's like uh, the egg board or like the milk board. Panama is a Panama passion fruit board. There's only a few growers that have Panama, and they're, um, I reckon they'll be the future. You leave a Panama in a fruit bowl, and you, can, you tell straight away, oh, that's a week old or two weeks old, because you know it gets thin-skinned. And that's your sugar content, and then it's just burning it, burning it away. They're really high in sugar. I used to go around the market and try every banana, just for taste. Very hard getting good bananas that really eat like they're supposed to eat. The best bananas are like the New South Wales Cuff Harbour. And then, and then the next step is probably they're supposed to be organic, these Echo bananas. Um, very hard to get organics because really you want everything certified. So it's, just, it's, it's a tough trick. But for these, um, apparently they are, and uh, we're supporting cancer research with the pink wax sticks on the end. So uh, yeah. Good banana, just, just, um, they actually last longer, these bananas. Well, they're short. There's none around. Not as in short as in short. <laughs> There's just not too many around. And um, it's hard because you're buying a strawberry that is not that good and cost a fortune. Like, they're $90 a tray, which is $8 a punnet. And that costs me. So, good luck out there getting a nice strawberry. We're waiting for the Queensland stuff to come in. So once that starts, it'll be awesome. Very tough, this spot where we're right in, because you're in between the seasons and you... Although it's pretty good at the moment, because you've got the mandarins and grapes and pink lady apples and bananas, but we're in between seasons. You're not going to get a nectarine or an apricot or a cherry, unless you want to crack something from overseas. We can't do that, we're Australian. 